guys, thanks for tuning in. This is Octobottoms coming with another video review and continuing on with our journey through the land of the Hobbit. Today we'll be taking a look at the Legolas Greenleaf and Toriel figure. Now, again, uh, I mentioned this before. Uh, when I read these, I, I must be really dumb or something because I'm not able to always properly pronounce names such as Toriel. I mean, that's kind of what it looks like to me. And until I actually hear it in the Hobbit movie, I probably won't know how to say it. It was like that with a lot of the Lord of the Rings stuff. I read the books and I didn't know how to pronounce certain things. But hearing somebody else say it for me kind of helped me out. But much like uh, in, I mentioned in my Gandalf review, Legolas is another character from the, the franchise that really seems to transcend through all of the various uh, films and books and such. Now, this is obviously a younger version of Legolas than what, we, than what we saw in The Lord of the Rings. So, very cool. Again, I love the packaging on here. Really nice kind of rope bubble on there beautiful image of middle earth in the background so very cool coming around here to the back you see other figures that are in the line larger representations of the characters and then a big old bio which again i'm not going to read because it's a lot so if you are interested in knowing what this actually says go ahead and look in the video description all this stuff will be there but really very cool again another set that is it that is available individually or in the two pack and you save money by buying it in the two pack so this is definitely the way that i recommend getting these figures if you are interested in picking them up you can see all the accessories in there all that stuff so without further ado let's get them open and see how cool they actually are all right guys so here we have legolas and tariel open up and out of their packaging and this is where uh, the hard plastic on on the the clothes is a very bad thing now i really do like the way that these figures look we're going to start off with legolas we're going to set her to the back starting off with legolas here this really does have a orlando bloom look to him i mean that looks very nice and really nicely captures that look uh, and then his armor and the clothes very nice you got some nice gold paint going throughout there obviously very elf looking i mean you even have some nice molded detail around through here into his boots as well with some gold highlights in there wonderful looking detail on this guy but he's got a major problem uh, because this is very hard plastic you have a hard time posing him and because of the way that this guy's legs are he it's very very wobbly uh, i i can't really because you can't move his hips or anything so everything you're doing you're rotating here at the knee to try to get his feet positioned and as you can see unless you have it perfect and usually by perfect that means i have to have one leg kind of angled out or one foot angled out i should say and that really kind of sucks i really dislike that and you can see he leans forward very i mean that's really bad i mean you can get him to stand here and then you turn him on the side and you can see that he's totally leaning forward i can't keep him leaning back and these bits right here these all removed now if you take it off again it, it still is a very difficult way to get him to stand because like i said this is very rigid plastic and it's well now now it's going to stand because i just kind of forced it and just squeezed and everything but you really shouldn't have to do that and that's really very unfortunate and you can see i mean he's not easy to stand and that's very unfortunate it really bugs me for his accessories just setting him off to the back one thing that i will say after i hit my camera uh if you look on the back of the packaging here you can see the legolas is holding an arrow as one of his accessories uh this figure doesn't come with that so I don't know if that's something that they got rid of eventually, but he's got his uh, bow and arrow here, or, well, bow and arrows with his quiver, and this is all molded in here. Nothing you can do, but you do have some really nice swords. I do love these, and again, these are very kind of soft, flimsy kind of, but they hold their shape very nicely. And you got some really nice kind of gold detail on both of these. And I love the fact that they can actually store in the back of his uh quiver right here at least i think this is a quiver well two different swords there we go get that in there as well why aren't you going all the way in there yeah well hmm what's happening what's happening guys there we go so that's really cool and then you come around to the back and then he's just got a hole here in the back where you just peg that in there and then that that screws up his balance again so you really have to fight with his legs really very unfortunate that that's the material that they used with it and 
again, he's he's going to fall. All right. Uh, here's his bow. Uh, again, very soft, kind of pliable, rubbery plastic. Real nice gold detail on here as well. It looks very nice. And he can just hold it in either hand. Uh, it really kind of depends what you want to do, just like so. Um, but again, it takes a lot of patience and a steady hand to get him to actually stand. For his articulation, his head is on the ball joint, but because of the, the hard hair here, you don't get a lot of poseability. I mean, you can take it and kind of force it up and then get it to look a little bit better, but there, there is some poseability uh, in his head. It's not terribly rigid hair plastic, but it, it's still not very good. The arms here are on the pin and socket, so they rotate in and out all the way around. Pin and socket at the elbow, so the same amount of rotation there. Wrist articulation. Uh, he does rotate, I'm, I'm assuming, at the waist because all these figures have the same amount of articulation. And then if you look up underneath there, he does have hip articulation. You just can't really get to it. And it sucks. It really bugs me. And then the knees, pin and socket, so forward and back. They also rotate. And uh, nothing at the ankle. So there's Legolas. And he's... Very, I, I love the way he looks. I, I really, really do. I think this is a great looking figure. The, the detail on here is phenomenal. I mean, you look at this and like I said, it really does look like Orlando Bloom to me. So very happy with it in terms of the sculpt, just fall short because of the way that the, the clothes are designed. Now, Tariel, again, I, I don't know if I'm saying her name right. I, you can kind of get her legs a little bit better because you can actually get up here where her hips are because these separate so you can kind of sort of do that uh, she's got all these kind of same accessories she's got the blades and everything get rid of there get out of there uh, she's she's a little bit easier to, to pose like I said because of the fact that this is split she's kind of wearing like this grass skirt but this is even a harder plastic than what Legolas has and this is really, really crappy. But again, very nice likeness, very good sculpt. I mean, the hair, she's got very long hair and you can see it's very nicely painted. Uh, I, I don't particularly like the fact that her, her I, I don't know what you would call that. Is that actually, maybe that actually is hair, I don't know. So maybe it should be that color. I thought maybe it was just like a hair tie or something. But again, wonderful painted detail all the way throughout the sculpt of the figure. You got the nice forearm guards, you got the nice chest piece. Come around here, like I said, you got a grass skirt sort of thing. Again, really nice boots with some gold paint on there. Really very nice looking figure as well. But she too really needs to have her legs spread out like this just to kind of get her to stand properly. And again, she kind of lists forward and it's all just because of the hips. You can't do anything with the hips. So it's so very difficult to actually get them into any kind of a pose. Really, the only dynamic pose that you're going to get these particular figures in is just a standing pose. And that really, really sucks. For her or, uh, her accessories, she comes with a, a quiver of arrows as well, which also pegs under the back here. But what's a little bit different is that actually has a hole uh, and the peg is right there. So you have to do that as opposed to Legolas where his, his quiver had the, the peg. So just set that right there. And again, you have to be very delicate with your balancing there we go she does come with a nice bow as well which has a lot of nice painted detail as well the painted the paint the sculpt all of these wonderful jobs on these just just the hips and in, in the in the in the hard plastic and then she comes with two daggers as well which are also nicely painted uh these figures are really nice i totally dig them except like i said you have to have a very steady hand to get them to kind of stand and it's it's just more of a hassle than anything and you can see I'm having a hard time with her right now and you, you can kind of see well maybe you can't because in order to get her to stand like that the the heel on this back foot is actually elevated which is hard to see because of the white but that's it all the way down and you can see it pulls that toe up so I mean, you can definitely see the, the balancing act that you're doing, and oh shoot, uh, it, it's it's so I, I love the figures, but it's so hard for me to re recommend for you guys to get them because you can't just you, you can't stand them, and that's so unfortunate because they're great looking figures. I I really do dig them, 
but honestly these these are probably the first figures that i would recommend passing on i really can't imagine other versions of these if you were to pick these up for, for them to actually be better than what i'm showing you right here uh, i imagine that the clothes on all of them are the exact same so no matter what you're probably going to have a hard time balancing them but much like gandalf you know where he had the the hard plastic cloak these guys had that same problem going on the only problem is these ones are even worse when it comes to trying to balance them and getting them to stand at least gandalf could stand now the only way i can actually recommend picking these figures up is if you are a hardcore completist and you need to have all these three and three quarter inch figures if you're not i would definitely recommend passing on these and probably hold off actually for the six inch ones you're going to pay a little bit more but i'm assuming you're going to get better articulation and better posability with those guys these ones just really don't do it the sculpt the paint job all very nice and then it all falls apart because you basically have to take way too long just to get them to stand and here in california where there's earthquakes <laughs> they're not gonna stay standing for too long for me so uh, until next time guys that was really totally unfair because i really kind of sh shook the table but, <laughs> but until next time i want to thank you for tuning in this has been optobonomous i'll talk to you later